Hello, good evening. Good night. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hi, Hi good, good evening. evening. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? Hi, Roger. Hi, Ori. How are you? I'm good. Morning. Okay, how are you, Mirna? No está Mirna, Roger. No, no, no. Ni José no ha entrado, ¿no? Okay, my friends. Uh, so, welcome to the second day of your English class. Uh, my name is Eric, for the ones that maybe you weren't here. And, um, well, it will be a pleasure to help you today and continue practicing English. English is very, very good. So, the first question is, uh, are you doing already the exercises in the platform? I know. I am problem in my platform. Uh, platform. I am reported today. Okay, so you already reported. Yes. Okay, good. Let's hope tomorrow you will be able to access. Anybody else's? Alguien más? Todos tienen ya acceso a la plataforma. Well, I didn't have. I didn't have problem to enter to the platform. I could make some uh, levels. Okay, very good. I'm happy to hear that. Nice, nice. Okay, my friends, so um, then we are going to start the class. Yesterday, we were checking some uh, topics. Do you remember what we learned yesterday? Yes, I was, I were. Yeah. The simple past of verb to be. Simple past. Very good. Simple past of the verb to be. Nice, fantastic. And uh, also, we did some exercises about that one, right? Yes. Yes. Very well. So uh, today we are going to continue. We are going to finish a little practice of uh, that part that is the verb to be, and also we are going to check uh, the um, the platform and the first uh, exercises to check if everything is working well. Okay. 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 Yeah, let me see. Let me just go there. Okay, I'm going to present. First of all, we're going to check the platform. Here it comes. Okay, so this is like the first part. Um, Olympia, could you please help me reading the objective? Okay, with the end of this class, you will be able to take about your past uses, was, where, and various regular and um, irregular verbs. I was born in Noveo Mas, Korea. You I was born in Korea. I am grew up in the United States. I moved here ten years ago. I didn't speak in English. Additionally, you you will ask the asker question in the past tense. The conversational English lesson will help. You discuss you, but eso no sé cómo se pronuncia. In great delight and get to know people. Okay, very well. So this is a very interesting object. As you can see, by the end of the class, you will be able to talk about your soon past. Uh, well, past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. Uh, for example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you will be able to ask and answer questions in the past. Tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. So, I, I, I don't know if there is any question in this objective. A veces acá hay vocabulario o algo que pues, 
no conozcan y es un gusto poder decirles. Do you see words, vocabulary? For example, I was born in Korea. What is that? Que nació en Corea. Yeah. As you can see, you use the verb to be another verb. But that is a different story. It's not what we are using right now. Uh, grew up. Do you know what is that? Grew up. Crecer. Creció. In past, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, you'll be able. What is to be able? To be able. Ser capaz. Ser capaz. Very good. And mm -hmm. let's see. Background. What is background? Your background. Uh, is the similar uh, feedback. Retro, retroalimentación. En este caso sería, uh, por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto, what is your background? It's like experience. Yeah, yeah. Like your experience, your life. Ah, okay. What you have done in the past. Okay. Ah, okay. That's okay. Okay. Very good. And greater is the comparative of great. So, let's continue. And, uh, well, the next one is a little video. So, you're going to discuss about past tense. Uh, so, I remember this is just about the verb to be. So, let's continue. And this is the first knowledge check. Okay? It's very important that you finish your knowledge check. Okay? Remember that one. Um, no sé si algunos ya hicieron esta parte, este primer knowledge check. Yes, yes. I finished the section okay. one. Yes. Okay. Very well. Any questions? No, any, any problems? Anything that... Any comments on this? I didn't have problem. Okay, good. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah, and... Okay, so let's check only uh, to see if we find some vocabulary. Uh, choose the best response, uh, response to this question. Did she play soccer in high school? And then it says, well, I guess no, we don't have any. Number two, choose the best response to this question. When did you graduate from college? Okay. Vamos a entrar más adelante en detalle de la gramática. Por ahora solo estamos viendo vocabulary. A ver si encontramos. Match. What is to match? Esta es question to match. Um, relacionar, unir. It's something like emparejar. Very good. Mm -hmm. I began. Do you know what is began? Comenzar. Comenzar. Start to do something. Pasado de comenzar. Start, uh, yeah, it's to, to start doing something. That's nice. What is a pet? It's a dog or a cat. It's a domestic animal. A domestic animal. Good, good. That is good. Okay, so that is like the first part. So we are going to continue with our presentation. So let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay. And uh, this is like the final practice with the verb to be in past. So, vamos a recordar un poco del verbo to be en pasado. Estas son solo preguntas. So, la primera. ¿Cómo quedaría la pregunta con el verbo to be en pasado? They... Mm -hmm. They were. Were they intelligent? Good. Oh, it's an interrogative. Yeah, it's a question. Were they? Were they intelligent? Were That's they it. intelligent? Okay, nice. And number two, what about number two? Was it was warm? It warm? Was it warm? Good. Number three? Je, uh, was, was she clever? clever? Was he clever? Was he was was him clever? Was Jim clever? Uh, do you was remember what is Jim. clever? It's uh, smart, intelligent. intelligent. Smart, intelligent. Very good. Number four. Uh, what is going to be? Was he, was he ambitious? ambitious? Was he ambitious? Good. Ambitious. Number five. Were we late? Late. Were we late? Were we late? Were we late? Number six. Were... Were, were you busy? busy? Were you busy? Were, were you busy? busy? Number seven? 
Where people in a hurry. Where people in a hurry. Where people in a hurry. And number eight. Where are they happy? Where are they happy? Good. So, any questions here? What's the meaning of ambitious? Ambitious is like in Spanish. Amb uh, when you want a lot, a lot of money, a lot of knowledge about anything. So when you want, when you look for in amounts, in quantity, a lot. Of okay. Any other question? Okay. <laughs> we have another one. We have another. Este es un poco, un poquito más compleja. Es como una conversación. La que... so, um, we are going to complete that. I see that in this class. Okay. Okay. Zoom, zoom in, please. Okay, very well. Let me check. Very well. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You are welcome. Uh, yes, that is it. Okay, so number one, uh, well, it's a conversation, and Peter says, Hello, Paul, where? Where are you? Where were you last month? Where were you last month? Where were you last month? Paul says, uh -huh. Paul. Continue. Oh. Oh. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. I was in the USA. I was in the USA. I grew up in I... Miami. Yeah, you can say that. I was... I... Uh, hi, Peter. I, I was in the USA. I... You can say I, I was in Miami or I went. I was no. in Miami. Uh, yeah, maybe I was in Miami. That one would be the, the best option. And then uh, number three, Peter. Uh -huh. Um, what was what it like? It like? What, what was, was it, it like? like? Yeah, this is like how was everything, right? Okay, and then Paul says, number four. It was great. The sea was great. calm and the weather was incredible. The weather was incredible. The sea was calm and the weather was calm and the weather was calm. The sea was... No, the sea were... No. Okay. Is, <laughs> the is sea going, wa <laughs> was. It's going to be. It was great. The sea was calm, and the weather, and the weather? was incredible. Good. Oh. And then it says, uh, and the number five, Peter. Uh huh. Peter. Um. And what and was the hotel what like? What was the hotel like? Yeah. And what was the hotel like? Nice. And the numbers. Fantastic. 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 There, there was, there was, was a casino. And there were four movie theaters. Nice. Good. So fantastic. There was a casino and there were four movie theaters. Nice. And uh, then in number seven, Peter says, what were the people? What were the people like? What were the people like? Very good. What were the people like? And let me check if we have any other. Okay, number eight. And they were charming. They were charming and friendly. Charming and friendly. Very. They were charming and friendly. Very. They were charming and friendly. What is charming? Ah, uh, that is the question I was going to ask. So, do you know what charming? <laughs> Charming and, and friendly. A person who know. is really nice. Really nice, right? Um, a person yes, that like is... Prince Charming, really nice. for example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Prince Charming, that is a good one. <laughs> very yeah. good, very good. Okay, um, any questions with this uh, little exercise? Uh, teacher. Yeah. Uh, we'll uh, repeat number six. Number six. Uh, it was fantastic. There was a casino and there were four movie theaters. Movie theater. 
There were. Thanks. Okay. There were. Okay. Any other question? No. No Teacher. Uh -huh. What is your name? Eric. Is... What? Eric. Eric. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eric. So um, let me check if we can continue with the platform or if we are going to move on with uh, the next topic that is going to be very important. Yeah, we're going to continue with the platform. So I'm going to present you so we can continue moving on. That one. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, let's see who. Um, Um, Juan, could you please read uh, this adjective? By the end of this class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements in the past tense using the verb to be. Additionally, you will be able to talk about the background in English. For example, explaining where you were born and when you came to the United States. This English conversation skill will will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. Very good, thank you. So by the end of this class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements in the past tense using the verb to be. Additionally, you will be able to talk about your background in English, for example, explaining where you were born and when you came to the United States. These English conversation skills will help you to introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. So that is like the whole thing. Um, questions about this one, let me see. Well, you know what is the background? And uh, well, probably skills. Do you know what uh, does skills mean? Skills. Yes. Abilidades. Abilidades. Very good. Abilities that you have to do something, right? Some skills. Okay, and then uh, this is like a little video for the verb to be. We have checked that already. De hecho, pues yo lo llevo un poco al revés, ¿verdad? We are going to check first the verb to be and then the rest of the verbs. But here in the platform, it was first the other one. Okay, and we have the uh, next knowledge check. Okay. Uh, have you done this already? Did you finish this uh, knowledge check? No, we might yes. No, yes. I know. Yes. I problem. Yes, I finished. I finished. Oh, I finished. Cool. Okay. And the person who has problem, you report it already, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, right. Okay. okay. Let's hope tomorrow you will be able to. So this is very easy as well. Uh, so you just need to check what will be the best uh, response. So which is the current use? Um, we are not he was born in Spain. Okay, good. We're not going to check that one, but let me see if there is any. Um, no, I guess there is not any other thing. So we can move on with the class here. Let's see how it goes. Okay. And I'm going to share that okay okay just to finish the verb to be we have a little bit of other exercise um w's questions with the verb to be i know that you remember that one right so for example uh, when do we use when cuando it's when about time. It's about time. time. About time. And where? Where? Place, places. 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 Very good. And um, who? Uh, people. 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 Good. And um, why? Uh, the reason. The reason. The reason. The reason. A question. The reason why, right? The reason. And what? What is the reason? The, 
the object or... Well, what is very general, right? You can do that for many things. Maybe the question here is, what is the difference between what and which? So for example, I can say, um, what is your favorite color? And also I can say, which is your favorite color? So what is the difference between what and which? Which is a, a specific. Good, nice. Which is more specific when you have limited options, right? Okay. And here are just a uh, uh, check out of this one. I know that you know this one. So why were you absent yesterday? Because I was sick. What time was the concert? It was at eight o'clock, for example. Uh, where were you yesterday? So there are many ways uh, uh, of asking with WH question and the verb to be. So maybe here it was just for you to remember that one. Do you have any questions about WH questions by now? No. No. In some cases, no. can I use both um, what or wish or specifically what I, I need to use only that um, or uh, in some cases I can both I can use both mm, actually no you need to well it's more common what because it's general right okay um, which is when you for example when you go to the store and you are with your friend and you see lots of shirts and there are like six or eight colors so you can say which color do you prefer that will be the most common the correct way because you have specific amount of colors you have limited options but if i ask you just what is your favorite color is what because it's in general you can say any color in the world okay so that okay, would be I got it Go. thanks it's a pleasure so let's move on and this is a little practice how is going to be number one why were the children upset? Upset. Do you know what uh, does upset mean? Upset is um, uh, angry. angry. It's like less of angry. It's like worried or something like that. Okay. Why is the reason? Why? Yeah. That is it. So why were the children upset? Uh, because what will be an answer for that one? Um, because... because he he lost on Fortnite. Okay, because they lost in Fortnite. Yeah, it's possible in a video game. Okay, number two. How is gonna be the question? Where were you? 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 And the answer Where for that one. What will be an answer? Where were I you? Was I, home. Was I was home. in my house. I was in my home. I was in my home. Yeah, I was at home. At home. Yeah. I was owning my house. Work. That's good. Okay. Uh, number three, how's it going to be? How was the weather? How was the weather? How was the weather? How was the weather? An answer for that one? Uh, the it was weather. raining fish. The weather is, is hot. It was hot. It was raining. It was cold. Okay. And uh, number four. When was he at home? When was he at home? And what would be an answer for that? He was at seven o'clock yesterday. Okay. He was at. Yeah. Yeah, there are many answers for that. Day. All those are good. Number five. <laughs> Why, Why they are they at the hospital? hospital? Out of the hospital. Well, that, that's a good one. Why were they at the hospital? Uh huh. And the answer? Where because they, they had were, an accident. Were, because, they were because, because, they because they sick. had an accident. Yeah, because they had an accident. Because they were sick. They were sick. Good. And uh, number six. How long? How, how long? How long was the, was the concert? Was the concert. How long was the concert? Good. And the answer might be how long? Oh, the five hours. Five. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The concert. The concert. Was five hours. Five hours. Was too long. The concert where? Was. Oh, was. 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 The concert was. <laughs> 
Okay, number seven. Why were why, you late? Uh, why, why were, were you late? Why were you late? Why were you late? Why were you late? I was late because I have some I problems was... with Zoom. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that one, but you're welcome here. <laughs> Thanks. Number eight, how is it going to be? Where, where, where were your sister last where summer? Where was your sister last summer? Your sister last where summer. Sister last summer. Good. Where was? What? Yeah. Where was? Where was? Where was? Where was? Where was? It's about word. sister, right? Yeah, it's, uh -huh. it's a third person, singular. So what will be an answer for that one? Where was? She was at the beach. Okay. She was in then a place, right? Okay, number nine. Who's gonna be? What was she afraid of? 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 And the answer what to was that she might afraid be? She was afraid, afraid of. The... of a snake. Okay. She was afraid of a snake. The last week. Okay. The last weekend. Uh, I guess you are number 10. What is going to be number 10? When was he at the stadium? When was he at the stadium? I was on in the stadium on Sunday I watching was... the best team of the world, Club Deportivo Faz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, any questions with this by now? <clears throat> Vamos super bien. So. We are going to go now to this one. Let me just check here. Hold on a second. Boy. Do you see that a little bit better? There, I guess it's a little bit better. Okay, so this is about simple past tense. Okay. And the first thing that we are going to check is when do we use simple past tense. Okay. So, the first thing is we can use it for a series of completed actions in the past. So, for example, I visited my grandmother, stayed for one or two hours, chatted with her, and went to my home. Sure. So, if you see there, there are many actions right so it's many actions completed all of these actions finished already and then also we can use it for completed actions in the past only one action we went to paris two days ago or we saw him last sunday or i heard a terrible explosion last night and also we can use it for single period with time expression. For example, he had a girlfriend for three years. My father talked on the phone for five minutes. She chose to stay with her mother all day. So with time expression is very common as well. And also, we can use it for the habit in the past if it is used adverse of frequency. So, for example, we have, um, I always did my homework on time when I was a student. Esto está bien interesante porque se están cuenta, if you realize about that one, uh, there are like two actions, two things together. I always did my homework on time when I was a student. So, two sentences are together. And then the next one says, my father often read me tales before I went to bed. Again, two actions, right? My father often read, actually the pronunciation there is going to be read me tales before I went to bed. And the last one, when I was a young, well, when I was young, I walked 10 miles to work place every day. So in this kind of situations, there are like two actions one is related to the other one so this is like the most common uh, simple past tense usage do you have any question about this what is the meaning of 
tales is similar to history stories yeah. tales is like history i mean stories that will be because oh, okay. we have we have like three different words we have uh tales that is like it can be true or it can be not true or it's a story that I can tell you. Uh, we have the difference also between history and story. Story is something that I can tell you about my life. And history is something that actually is very important that happens to a country, to people, to important facts in history. Okay. 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 Thanks. Perfect. Do you have any other any other question? Teacher, if there, there is a, a mistake in, in, the last, uh, in the last sentence, that when I mistake. was a young or when I was young? Yeah, that is a mistake. It should be when I was young. It's without or, A. Yeah, without A. Or you can say when I was a young man. In that case, it's possible. Oh, it's possible. Yeah. Very well. Any other question? Okay. Okay, let's move on. And here we have like the grammar for the simple past tense. Okay. So this is this is not difficult. Um for, um, well, we have an example here that we transform into past. As you can see, uh, we have the present and the past together. And uh, plus is going to be affirmative, the other is negative, and the other are questions. So, for example, you live in Spain. That is simply present tense. For you to transform that one, well, we have a transformation of the verb, right? You lived in Spain. A regular verb. That is a regular verb, yeah. And for the negatives and the questions, also we are going to use an auxiliary, right? The only difference is that the auxiliary will be in past as well. And the verb does not change. Okay? And the auxiliary. So that is like the most important part. Uh, I guess it's actually easier than simply present tense. Uh, rules are not that many here. Of course, do you have a question? If you have a question, you can tell me and I can help you with that one. Yes. I understand. <laughs> it's yeah. a rules. Yeah, those are the all rules. Uh -huh. And this is like, like the explanation. The verb only changes in affirmative sentences. In the negative sentences and questions, the verb doesn't change. The base form of the infinitive is just. Do you know what is the infinitive? Uh, it's like it's when... It's only the verb. It's only the verb, right? Like to be. To be um, is the infinitive. And when you use that in present, you say I am, she is. But the infinitive is to be. That happens with when the, the other verb. When the verb is not con conjugating. Yeah, when the uh, verb, there is no transformation into any tense. No tense is done. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, so now we are going to go to the next. Okay, so simple past tense, regular verbs. Remember that in English, when you say that something is regular, it's because there are rules and you need to follow those rules. So, we have uh, spelling rules and examples. The first one is if the verb uh, finishes in E, we add D. That is it. So we have the examples there. Um, leave is lived. Stare is stared. Questions with the first one? Yes, yes. What is the meaning of a stare? 
uh, stare is like looking at something with a lot of attention, staring. You are like, how can I say that? Uh, imagine that you, you look on the street, a beautiful car, and you look at that, and you uh, are thinking, what a beautiful car, and the tires and the color. That is like stare, you know? It's like emotion. It's not like emotion, it's uh, an action of watching, seeing, paying attention. But you can also uh, tell stare. Okay. Everything Thank else you. around is is not important when you are staring at something or somebody. Like, uh, mm -hmm. Okay, it's good. Like, uh, okay, the other rule is says ending if the verb is ending in vowel plus y, we are going to add E D. So, for example, stay is stayed. Play is played. Any questions with that? No. Fail. Yes, teacher. The pronunciation in tapas, stay, stay. and played. Mm, that is a very good question. To be honest with you, there are like three different pronunciations Fail. of the uh, D or ED. Sometimes it's like D. Sometimes it's like um, ED, and sometimes it's like a T. So, for example, in work, we say worked. That is like a T sound. Uh, but there are other words like, uh, what can I say, played. Played is like ED, and lived is like D. Uh, for that one, probably we need to practice and listen with more attention because all the verbs are different, I mean. But those are the three main pronunciations with the regular. Sometimes it's like a D, sometimes it's like ED, and sometimes it's like T. Uh, teacher? Yeah. What, what is the pronunciation in the past the, to carry? Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Well, and actually, that is the next, right? Uh, if a verb is ending in consonant plus Y, we are going to change the Y to I and then mm -hmm. add ED. So, this is different from the other one because in the other one we have vowel plus Y. I. But in this one, if we have consonant letter plus Y, plus y we are going to subtract the Y and then change it to an I and then I E D. So try is tried. Carry is carrier. Carry. Carrier. The sound is similar, but change the consonant. That is correct. Uh, okay. English, English is based a lot in pronunciation. In the way that you use the letters and the words. Uh, for example, that's why sometimes if you have the chance to check some time the way that words are separated in syllables is totally different than in Spanish. Because uh, in Spanish it's like uh, two letters, three letters together, four letters. In English it's depending on the sound. Maybe one syllable is going to be one letter only. That happens. But it's because it's, uh, English is based a lot in the um, in the sound in the pronunciation in this case teacher is a it's a soft sound no sometimes yeah most mostly yeah, it's going to be a soft sound yeah okay good so the next one it says if we have one syllable single vowel and ending in single consonant we're going to double the final consonant and add ED. Oh. Okay. This is very similar to the ING, do you remember? So it's going to be not nutted with double D. It's very important not to for, uh, forget that one. Rip, ripped. Okay. Do you have any question on this one? What is the meaning of not? Good question. Not is, uh, well, not is to do this action. When somebody says, um, do you agree? And you do this. Oh, okay. That is not, okay. 
any other question? Rip. A uh, rip is like um, when you have a paper, a piece of paper, and you rip the paper. Like tear in, apart. In two pieces. In two pieces or in many pieces. Yeah, it's to rip something. Two, four, three pieces. Okay. Very good. So let's go to the next one. If we have two syllables, but the stress is on the second syllable and ending in single consonant, again, we are going to double the final consonant and add ed. In this case, we have two examples, commit. So since commit has a stress in the second syllable, it's going to be committed with double T. Committed. Like, committed. It's, it's a little long, the sound. Yeah, the sound in this one is going to be different. Yeah, committed. But it's going to be like ED, right? Committed. It. Commit, committed. Yeah. And the other one is prefer. Preferred. So, since Prefer. the stress. As I was telling you, in English, uh, it's very important pronunciation. So, that's why in these verbs, we uh, add the two letters. I mean, uh, we duplicate the consonant at the end because of the pronunciation. Perfect. So, uh, do you have any questions about this? Okay, so we need to continue more practice. Yeah, <laughs> but don't worry. I mean, this is not that difficult. You are going to see here a lot of rules, and I wanted to present you the rules uh, because they are important. But uh, the most important thing is to practice. When you speak, when you listen to videos, music, there you are going to find the correct pronunciation. So my best advice for you at this point, now that you are in the intermediate level, is to start, for example, watching TV or movies only in English. You can do an exercise. You can watch a movie or a TV show that you already saw before, something that you know, and that is something that you really like, and then you can listen and check how it's going to be the pronunciation. Also remember that pronunciation uh, depends also on the place where people are uh, talking. So if you see a movie from England, it's going to be different from the US or Australia, uh, Canada. Here in El Salvador, I mean, we speak very different English because of our Spanish here. So, uh, but it's a good practice. You can listen to music and try to understand the lyrics. Many things like that you can start doing so you can improve the way that you understand and the way that you can pronunciate and enunciate the words. Okay, so questions by now? Okay, so we have a little list of regular verbs. Okay. What we are going to do for first of all is to to pronunciate. I will say and you will repeat. Okay. 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 Join. 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 I'm sorry. Again. Join. 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 Jump. 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 Okay. Jump. 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 Love. 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 Manage. 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 
Mark. 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 Name. 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 Need. Needed. 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 Open. 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 Order. 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 Organize. Organized. 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 Pack. 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 Paint. 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 Pass. 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 Perform. 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 Persuade. Persuaded. 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 Program. 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 Permit. Protect. 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 Protected. Protected. Review. 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 Shop. 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 Slow. 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 It. Slow. Slow. It. Slow. It. Turn. 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 Underline. 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 Underline it. Underline it. Underline it. Want. 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 Wanted. Okay, very good. So, uh, do you know what is join in English, please? Join. Entrar. I'm sorry? Venir, sir. Yeah, it's like to be together, right? To join. So, Put for together. Example, you can join with another person for homework, for example. Join. Okay. Who wants to give me a sentence with join in past? Join at your class right now. Okay, I joined the class, but right now it's not past. Uh, yesterday. Good, yes. Uh -huh. yesterday. I joined the class yesterday. Good. What is jump? I... Saltar. Is the action the, the action. saltar? <laughs> <laughs> when you go up, right? When you <laughs> impose the Okay. Okay. Uh, an example with the passive jump. I was jump. I, I was jump. I jump at the wall. Jumping. I jump at the wall. Okay. So remember. I that. jump, jump in the, the class. Okay. Uh, remember that if you are going to use these verbs, any of these verbs, you can't use the verb to be. Right. It's either or. So uh, in this jump simple past. In. Uh, it's not possible to use the verb to be with uh, the simple past. Okay, knock. What is knock? Knock. Knock. Okay. Knock the door. When you hit something. Yeah. Knock the door. Oh, yeah, when you hit knock the door. something. Okay, an example with knock in past. I went I to my classmate's house yesterday <laughs> and I knocked the door. Knocking, knocking the door? 
I knocked the door. Very good. I knocked the door. What do knock, you mean, you know knock, teacher? I knock is for like when you knock on the door. Mm, you're going hit. Touch. <laughs> touch the. Not touch, no. but hit. It's a hit, no. but it's not that that strong. Let's say. He was up. <laughs> yeah, okay. I knock out. You know, knock out is like that. Hit and fall. Knock out. Uh, that is different because of the out. Okay, love. You know what is love, right? And love. I love him. <laughs> manage. What is manage? Manage is uh, is it the the same administration. Yeah, it's like handle something, right? To to manage a department to manage a uh, situation, for example, right? Mm -hmm. And it comes from manager as well. Okay, uh, Mark. This, this in the time? Well, yeah, it's about time when you mark a time. Mm. This saying hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about match? What is match? I'm... Then saying uh, soccer. Mm, mm. Well, in that way, it's no. a noun. It's different because it's a noun. It's not a verb. But verb as a... Is uh, this... Uh -huh. I am... Is it similar in connection? Connection, Or, yeah. or join? Two join. point? That is it. Good. Connection. Mm -hmm. Two point. Mm -hmm. Connection to point. Mm -hmm. Okay. An example with the pass of match. Right. And... I match with my girlfriend I... about three years ago. Okay. Good. That is a good one. <laughs> name uh, as a verb is when you call it by the name, right? When you say the name of something. Uh, can you please tell me an example with the past of name? Mm -hmm. She was named. She was named? Yeah, she was named. You can say that. Uh, a very common example with this one is when you say, I named my son after my father. So it's like, I, uh, my son, the name are the same of my, my father's, right? But you can say, I named after my, my father. Though. Okay, need. I guess that you know what is need, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Also open. I I need. That is also very common. Order. Um, Order. When you, for example, when you go to a restaurant, right? I ordered pizza. Uh -huh. I ordered <laughs> pizza. Yeah, very good. Organize. That is also clear. Uh, I I I organize organize my desk. I, okay. I organized my room yesterday. Good. Nice. Or I organize my schedule. Schedule. Good. Schedule. Good. Okay. What about pack? Do you know what pack is? Pack. Mm -hmm. Is um. You put something in a box, no? Yeah, that might be. Pack is when you uh, put something <laughs> kind of, of a bag or a box or a suitcase and you pack, okay? An example with packed? I packed, packed? Packed. A gift for okay. my mom. The box with you, okay. Mm -hmm. I pay my pack. Okay. Yeah, paint is also I very packed common. the box. I packed the I box. I packed the box. Okay. Nice. Can you see if we have product here? Paint. Okay, let's go to the other one. Pass. Do you know what it's pass? Can you... Uh, he passed... Pass it? Pass it. I, I can... I passed the similar salt. Uh, logo. <laughs> Please. Okay. You pass, pass it. Yeah, that is good. Good example. Nice. He passed, passed me a salt. Pass, uh, yeah, the salt. The yeah. salt. I don't know. Salt. Yeah, the salt. That is good. What about perform? Perform is the... When you act? 
Can you Somebody. present something? Very good. When you perform in front of people. Uh, an example with performed. Um, I perform I perform um, a, a exposition okay. in my English class. Good. Very good. Liked it. Okay, the next one is pursued. What is that? Pursue. Pursue. I mm -hmm. another people to do something, maybe. Yeah, that is yes. it's when uh, other person or other people they don't want to do anything. And you pursue them to change their mind, right? To do what you want. That's an example with pursue it. Pursue to begin the class. Okay, that's good. I pursued him to bring in the class. Program. What is to program? Uh, um, um, programmed. All these programs. The, cha the channel on my TV. <laughs> I program the channel. Uh, mm -hmm. that, is, that is a noun. It's not a verb. Mm -hmm. It's a correct word, but it's a noun. Uh, program um, is we, like, uh, when we uh, when engineers make some programs in in computers that is good program when like any system engineer uh, they create it like something. the activities were programmed yeah good good example activities were programmed protect that is clear right protect, protect an example yeah. with protected The company is protected. Okay, the the company you can say the the company protected me or something like that. Review. What review. is review? I review re, reviewed or reviewed. Uh, review. What is the pronunciation in past? Yeah, it will be reviewed. Reviewed. My lesson. My last lesson. Very good. I review it my last lesson. Review it. Good. Review it. Yeah, good. Nice. Okay. Shop. You know what is shop, right? Shop. What would be an example with shop? Shop. I said that. Uh, that I just last week. I, mm -hmm. I shopped uh, shop. the computer last week, weekend. Okay. Yeah, I shopped the computer last week. I shopped. What about slow? Slow. No. Slow with the velocity. Okay, I slow the motorbike, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Good. What about turn? Turn. Um, turn. Turn. It's like when you turn, turn, right? When you turn the other side, or when you turn the page uh, of a book. Is that clear? Turn, turn the page of a book. I turn the light. That is turn off or off. turn on. But turn it's off? yeah. But you can say I turn it off. Uh -huh. oh, okay, turn it off. Okay, I good. Turn off. What about under? under my... I guess that is clear as well is when you have a word and you underline that one, right? Uh, and uh, well, yes. I gave you an example. I underlined the class, I mean the word or the phrase, something like that. I underlined the verbs. Okay. I, un I underlined the verb in the sentence. Good. That is a good example as well. And the last one in this list is want, wanted. So, an example with wanted? He wanted a dog. Okay, very good, nice. Okay, so this is only regular verbs. Tomorrow we're going to check irregular verbs. So that is the funny part. And um, well, is there any question before we finish today? What is the correct pronunciation of wanted? Wanted. Uh, in, in the past, I hear some people that says wanted. 
Yeah, it's change like the that. the letter E for the I. Mm, the thing is that the pronunciation of that letter is E, wanted. E D. Oh, okay. uh -huh. That wanted. is it. Wanted. Okay. Very well. Any uh, other question? Okay, so this is like the introduction yeah. to the simple past tense. Um, please try to do the exercises in the platform. Move on. Um, we, uh, if you have questions, remember that you can chat with me directly, or you can also send questions in the uh, in the group. And um, if you don't have any other questions, we're going to finish right now. Everything is safe. Everything's good. Everything is, everything is okay. okay. Good. good. So, I, I want to I want to see the practice in English in this one. On the single part. That will be interesting. <laughs> okay, my friends, it okay. was a okay. pleasure. Uh, see you tomorrow and have a wonderful night. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, dear friends. See you tomorrow. See you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Bye.